All right, well, it's package day. Looks like I've got a smiley face package, which can, which can only mean one thing. Amazon has made a delivery. Uh, looking forward to it. I love getting packages in the mail. Let's see what this is. Stupid. It's not really working. Thanks a lot, guys. Anyway, um, I wanted to do a quick video this morning. Obviously, the Judge Kavanaugh was uh, confirmed to the Supreme Court, and predictably, everyone's losing their minds. I've said this on Twitter, and I'll say it here on YouTube as well. Um, Kavanaugh would not have been a, a, my choice. I don't, I don't think he's going to be a, a great uh, conservative Supreme Court justice. I don't think that's the case at all. I think um, that... He's squishy on Roe versus Wade. A lot of people think that he's playing like 4D chess and that he's secretly going to overturn it. I don't think that's the case at all. I hope so. I hope so, but I don't think that's going to happen. And I also, you know, I, I think he's bad on the Bill of Rights in general, but whatever. You know, he, he was confirmed and all of that, and uh, that's the end of that. Now, um, predictably, the drama queen of all drama queens has lost his mind. Here we go. I hope it was worth it. I, whenever I see this, I always picture him crying and just like shaking in fear and anger and things like that. I hope it was worth it, evangelicals. The integrity of the Supreme Court is gone. Now, why would that be? Why would the integrity of the Supreme Court be gone? I don't know. I, I, I'm assuming he's he's saying that this guy's a rapist, and so now there's a rapist on the Supreme Court. Kyle G. Howard doesn't have any idea what he's talking about. The country's in disarray. Yeah, the country's in disarray. Wonder how why that could be as well. Your churches, they're fractured across ethnic lines. This guy's worse than the guy from uh, the woman from The Simpsons. Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? Biggest drama queen of all. Immigrants fleeing for their lives, kept away. Do you know how many immigrants that we accept in the United States? Do you know how many refugees we accept in the United States? He makes it seem like we don't have any. And it, whoa, what's this? Oh, that's cool. Um. It makes it seem like we don't have any. Like we're just get out of here, everybody. This is not the case at all. I mean, I work in I work in consulting and uh, and recruitment. There are so many immigrants in the United States, and it's great. I have no problem with immigrants. Children separated from their families. What does that have to do with anything? This guy is again drama. This is just all drama. Witness your your witness is compromised. All for Kavanaugh. He is so distraught it's ridiculous now he says i hope it was worth it evangelicals now i again i don't think kavanaugh was the best um the best choice but it definitely was worth it in my opinion it was worth it even just for this meme this is the most hilarious thing i've ever seen in my life this is one of the funniest pictures i've ever seen we've got this uh woman back here freaking out for who knows what reason i have no idea and Lindsey Graham here, it just, <laughs> it's just, it's just, this is too good, man. I, I, I will, I will cherish this meme for the rest of my life. It is hilarious. Now, um, of course, Cal Howard's drama doesn't end with this kind of thing, this political, he's distraught politically, but he's also racist, so he's going to say some racist stuff too. Here's his, here's his racism. I think my new pet peeve is white people who act like they are more aware about the potential of false allegations than black people. White men have rarely been held accountable. The black community has Emmett Till. Red black men read to kill a mockingbird like Tom could be us. So here's Kyle being a racist. Now, uh, it's a pet peeve when white people talk about the possibility of false allegations, but when black people talk about it, it's cool because they, you know, I guess they're the special, super secret, uh, oppressed people that can talk about anything and be as racist as they want. But uh, once white people talk about it, he doesn't like that. You imagine anybody saying at any time, my new pet peeve is when black people do whatever. That, that would be, that would, people would lose their minds. That's a racist. That's a unbelievably racist. But Kyle J. Howard here is a superstar in the evangelical intelligentsia, and he is a blatant open racist. This is a racist statement. And again, for people who don't, don't know me, they, they might say, well, you're just a white man talking. I'm not white. You know what I mean? I can, I can recognize, as a minority, I can recognize that this is a racist statement. This right here is a racist statement. Kyle J. Howard is a racist. He doesn't like when white people do things. It bothers him. When white people do things that he doesn't think that is, is legitimate, 
if a black person does it, it's cool. If a white person does it, he doesn't like it. And he's really against white evangelicalism, too. Just look at his Twitter feed. I'm, I'm blocked, so I can't really show you all his, uh, his tweets. Um, but white evangelicalism constantly. This man's a racist. Now, again, let's talk about this, this meme. People might think that this is gloating and this is like mean because this woman's obviously upset. And you know what? I saw somebody say like uh, Christians are mocking victims of, uh, of sexual uh, assault. And that's just completely false. That's not what I'm doing and that's not what anyone really is doing. What we're mocking is this insanity here. This is insanity. With this, woman. this woman's freaking out over absolutely nothing. There is no evidence that Kavanaugh is a rapist. There's no evidence that he's any of the things he's been charged of, except for bad on the Fourth Amendment. He's There is evidence for that. Um, but this person doesn't even know what the Fourth Amendment is. I mean, she's not talking about that. She's upset about the fact that he was accused of rape. Um, nobody's mocking that people are, are victims, actual victims. People are mocking the insanity of their demands. No, just because you're a victim of sexual assault does not mean you get to tell people what to do. Does not mean that you're always right. Does not mean that you have a sixth sense that tells you when someone's a rapist or not. We don't do that. We go by the scriptures. We go by two or three witnesses. Now, Kyle J. Howard, he famously told you not to go by two or three witnesses because he's also a scripture twister. He's also a manipulator in addition to being a drama queen and a racist. So, um... Here's the reality. We're mocking this kind of reaction. No, you don't get to tell us what to do just because you say you're a victim. Now, even if you are a victim, you don't get to tell us what to do. And here's the thing. This is why I'm so pleased that Kavanaugh was confirmed. Again, not a Kavanaugh guy. I don't think he's going to be good for Roe v. Wade. I don't think he's going to be good for pretty much anything. This is why I am happy. Because it is so tempting, so tempting to give in to the mob. Even Jordan Peterson, who I like was saying in some way we should give in to this mob so Kavanaugh should be confirmed and then he should resign so that we could uh, keep the country together and have unity in the country. He's saying something to that effect. And uh, I disagree completely. I disagree completely. Unity is not worth it if you're just giving in to this mob constantly and consistently. That is not worth it. Truth is more important than unity. The scripture talks about showing partiality to the poor. The scripture talks about showing partiality to the poor, to the, to, the, to the downtrodden, to the powerless, things like that. And it says you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't pervert justice in that way. And I would say the same thing when it comes to sexual assault victims. You shouldn't show partiality to sexual assault victims um, when it perverts justice. You shouldn't do that. You should judge correctly, judge without regard for who's involved in the situation. Look at the facts. If it's true that it happened, you judge correctly. If it's not true it happened, you judge correctly. And here's what it says in Exodus 23. It says, you shall not fall in with the many to do evil. Why do you think God has to say that? You shall not fall in with the many to do evil. It's because it's tempting, man. It's tempting to give in to these women who are saying, I'm a sexual assault victim and Kavanaugh's a rapist. And it's very tempting, especially for men, because men want to protect women in general. And so um, when, when a woman is crying and freaking out or when Kyle J. Howard is, 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 is emoting online, you, you, you feel bad for him. You feel bad for them. And you're like, well, I want to I wanna do something to put this out. So it's so tempting to go to give in to that mob and just give them what they want. It would be so easy right? It would be so easy to find another uh, Supreme Court uh, nominee. It would be so easy to do it and say, well, I just, I care about women. Look, if you care about women, if you care about anybody, you need to follow God's standards. You need to follow God's law. And just because there's a bunch of shrieking liberals that say Kavanaugh's the devil and he's a rapist and things like that, and your churches are divided across ethnic lines, I hope it was worth it. It's drama, drama. Just be, it would be so tempting to do it. You cannot do it. You have to stick with God's standards. By the way, before you get all you know crazy on me, this is why I didn't vote for Trump, because I'm sticking with God's standards. I said, look, this guy doesn't fear the Lord, and so I'm not going to vote for him. I don't think I can trust him. He, 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 he wasn't, he's shown he wasn't trustworthy with his wives. Why would he be trustworthy to me? And so that's why I didn't vote for him. Now, I understand why many of you did. I'm not saying you're in sin or wrong or whatever. That's my reasoning for not voting for Trump. And so I stick with God's standard. I think all of us need to do that. You see what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I know it's tempting to give it. So Kyle J. Howard, it's easy to laugh at him because he's just such an over-the-top drama queen. He's just such a racist. He's so obviously these things. But there are people that are that you respect, people that you respect that also have similar views and say, well, you shouldn't take a side on Kavanaugh and Ford. 
and, um, and they say it in much more subtle kind of ways, much more respectable than Kyle J. Howard. Um, and you, you know, you may want to placate them because you, you trust them and you and you, and you, you, you know you, you respect them and things like that. But the reality is, you cannot fall in with the many to do evil. Not taking a side on Kavanaugh and Ford. I'm not saying who I believe more. It doesn't matter who I believe more. That that's the other thing. A lot of people say, "Well, I believe Ford," and other people say, "I believe Kavanaugh." Well, actually, that's irrelevant according to God's law. Who you believe more, who's more convincing, is completely irrelevant. It's what you can prove. If, if you can't prove that Kavanaugh did it, then you have to treat him like he didn't do it. It's just that simple. If you can't prove that he did it, you have to treat him like he didn't do it. And that's it, 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 this is the thing. So don't fall in with the many to do evil, even when you respect them, even when they're not as crazy as Kyle here. Um, even when they're more subtle and they say, well, you know, it sounds reasonable. Don't take a side. Don't take a side in this. No, God insists that you take a side because he has shown us what justice is and we must go for that. We cannot replace it with nonsense. We can't replace it with placating the raging, liberal, shrieking, angry, sad mob. We can't do it. And so when people are, when, when you see people like Kyle here trying to emotionally manipulate you, can you see that? I would make sure to take a take that as a warning. I need to be focused on the scripture. What does the scripture say justice is? That's what I that's what it says. When you see people acting crazy and insane, it's okay to mock them. Like this meme. This is a perfect meme. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. God bless. By the way, people get mad at me when I say it's okay to mock uh, insanity, and uh, they, they say, well, Jesus doesn't mock people, and things like that. And how could you be loving and be, be mocking this? And I, I, I think that's absolutely incorrect. Jesus does mock people. In fact, uh, we have a psalm that talks about how when when God sees people try to be against him and try to like like coordinate against him and his people, he laughs at them. He laughs at them. He who sits in the heaven laughs. And so, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing. This kind of craziness, this is someone who is trying to pervert justice, and she thinks that if she screams and yells and shrieks that she can pervert justice, I laugh at it.